What's up WSU Tech students? Today we're gonna to walk you through how to use financial aid to order textbooks. The first thing I want you to do is go to the top of your browser window. If you are a student at the South, City Center, Old Town, or online campus, your URL needs to say shockerstore.com slash store to slash home. If you're a student at the NCAT campus, that needs to change to store three slash home. Next thing I want you to do is go to the top right and click on your account. It's going to give you some information about your default um, account name and password. You're going to log in. Then we're going to go up here to course materials. We're going to scroll down. We're going to go to find my textbooks. You go down here. You type in the department code for the book you're looking for, and then you're going to type in the course number on the right. And you scroll down here to view my materials. It's going to pop up. This is the book I'm looking for. You can choose between new, use, or you can rent. The only caveat when you rent is that. The credit card you use to rent has to have an expiration date that is at least 120 days past your rental due date. All right, I'm going to choose a new book right here. I'm going to hit Add to Cart. Then I'm going to hit Continue Checkout. Once again, I'm going to hit Continue Checkout. I'm going to agree. Then you can choose whether you're not you would like to uh, in the event the instructor changes your course materials um, we can automatically update your order we can add only required materials we can add all materials or you can select do not add to order and you can do it yourself we're going to do that one for now if we substitute or add course materials it wants to know if you want new or used we're going to choose used all right brings to brings us to our shopping cart page we're going to go to payment options right here and then you see where it says planning on fin paying with financial aid you're going to click this red button here you're going to put in your account number and right here it says your financial aid account number is your WSU Tech student ID number we're going to put our number in and hit submit and then it's going to let us know whether our book is covered by financial aid or not. So the price of this book is $116.20. $116.20 is covered, and our book will be covered by financial aid. So now we're going to go to return to checkout. Next thing you need to do is decide how you would like to receive your order. You can pick up your order which during these current times is a little stressful, I know. Um, we are offering curbside pickup at our RSC location. Right now, I recommend you ship order. All right, you're gonna have your billing address and your shipping address. Obviously, change those if you need to. You're gonna hit continue. You're gonna choose a shipping method. Right now, we are offering a promo code that will get you free shipping on any order over $25. You can hit apply there. Then you're gonna go down here to financial aid. When you choose your payment option, you're gonna go to financial aid. You're gonna put your account number back in. You're gonna check this box. And then you have to enter up a backup payment method in case your financial aid goes through. Some students will choose this financial aid option and they hadn't checked to see whether or not they had financial aid funds available, and then they'll be upset. You have to make sure you have financial aid funds available, which we did earlier in this tutorial, but you still have to put in a backup credit card in case you don't have enough financial aid to cover it all. So you put in all that information there and then you're gonna submit payment and you're good to go.